Good morning beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Chantelle and in today's video I'm going to be doing my lipstick declutter. Um, yeah, I'm afraid guys it's a bit of a long one yet again. I hope you don't mind. I was in two minds whether or not I should split it into two videos but I just wanted to get it all up. The next clip you'll see is me jumping straight into the declutter. I have three containers, um, one labelled stuff that I'm going to keep, so any lip products that I'm going to keep. The next one is to give away and the third one is any old and expired products that have gone off and they're no good that I'm going to throw away. So that's how I'm sorting it out. Right guys, I hope you enjoy my video and at the end I will put back on just to round up. This is just some lip balms. It, it was a gift, so I'm definitely going to keep hold of these. You can never have too many lip balms. All right, and then this is the Elf Naughty and Ice Lip Gloss Vault. Um, I probably unboxed these on my channel like a couple of months ago, so these are still brand new really. Um, but I just have so many lip products that I can't see myself using them. And I've come to realise that some of these are lip plumping glosses, which I won't use. So the lip plumping ones, lip plumping, lip plumping, that's a lacquer, lacquer. Okay, so these are ones that are not plumping all right but i can see myself not really reaching for this one because it's pink it's a pinky nude so that can go as well these can stay i suppose these i can give away all right and this is like a wet and wild set this was supposed to be for somebody else but it just didn't it never happened so i ended up having to keep hold of them so they're all brand new as you can see it's like a set so we've got two liquid lipsticks nude kind of colors and then we have the balm stain sticks a reddish color and a pinky color and then we have the gel liner so these are all brand new um, it came in a little set like this. I'm going to try and pass this on. I don't know who I would pass this on to because, to be completely honest with you, I'm, I've got a bin for giving away and passing on. But majority of my family only wear kind of like browns and nudey kind of colours or like clear. They're not really like me that wears the reds and the purples and the really bold colours. So I don't even know who... I would pass these things on to so just quickly going through these little drawers that I have for my container I don't know why I put these things in here but we have the elf lip balm if you're seeing that I'm hoping that you're getting to see these things properly and then I just have a couple of like lip balms from Nivea this is a gloss this is the elf sheer sleek if you see that it's sheer but it's got like a tint of brown color like that so this is definitely staying oh i should just put them in the keep pile then we have the nyx high voltage lipstick and i've had this for so long so many years now i know this is expired so i'm going to bin that okay and then we have a boohoo beauty lip gloss i don't know what this is doing in there but it's definitely staying we have four of the Huda Beauty bullet lipsticks in Joyride, Dirty 30, Ladies Night and Masquerade. Love this masquerade colour. Look at that. It's such a dark, deep, purpley, vampy colour. Love that. So these are definite keeps. Moving on to these drawers that I have here now. The top drawer, I have these P. Louise lip bases. 
and it's such a shame really i tried them and i thought maybe all the formulas were maybe the i know that fundamentally all the formulas would be the same oh yeah this is a new one as you can see it's starting to squeeze out now but this is brand new i haven't used it um only because i am a little bit allergic to it well i have to say i think i'm allergic to these um when i put them on my lips i get this funny like tight tingling feeling it's a really unpleasant feeling so i never actually reach for these it's such a shame because these are so pigmented right we have the shades bad intention um restless rouge left on red and solo nude right and i really wanted these to work but like i said it just leaves my lips feeling funny they don't swell up or anything but it's a really horrible feeling so i know i'm not going to reach for these and i have to say this is the first and only product of p louise that i just don't like i don't get on with next we have these shades um these are from i think they're from the relove collection right well, these these bullet shades are from the relove collection and i'm sure there's a couple more floating around somewhere that didn't suit me which is why they're not in the drawer but yeah i did a lip swatch video on these shades and i absolutely love them see this is another elf one so this shouldn't be here but yeah these shades were really nice i liked them um so but the, the thing is i have to ask myself will i reach for them uh i don't know i probably wouldn't you know i'm gonna end up i'm gonna put these i'm gonna give them away right i'm gonna give them away these are two of the elf shades that were really my favorites one called raspberry and one called pepper this reminded me right of the um ruby woo color and then i or, or this one one of them reminded me of the ruby woo right i'm hoping that because i'm trying to use um natural light today instead of a ring light and the clouds keep coming in and out and it's so gloomy outside of all days for it to not be sunny it would be the day that i'm filming this but anyway i hope that this is okay um yeah so these are definite keeps all right we have two of the boohoo lipsticks here which i think i'm going to keep this is again a nudie colour. I don't like this colour. I'm going to give that away. And then this one here is called Left on Red as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a stain. Okay. Then we have some Dull Beauty lipsticks, which I'm, I think a few of these are going to go. Right. Like this one has never even been used. Look at that. So this is going to be given away. And then I won't even bother try to read the colours because I can't. This one here, I think I'll keep. Look at that colour. Lovely. So I'm going to keep that one. This one. Again, I want to keep at least one of the nudes. So I'm going to keep this one. And then this one is another ready color i know that the shades are similar but they're different tones so yeah i'm going to keep this one and this one i will give away this is a p louise lipstick so yeah i'm going to keep this one because this is the only p louise lipstick i have that was fine and these are all the miniature huda beauty mini liquid lipsticks that i have I think there might be one or two more floating around, but I'm definitely going to keep these. So this is all going in the key pile. Let's go and do these MAC liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. Okay, this lip gloss, absolutely loved it. But yeah, I've had it for so long, right? This is such a stunning colour. It stinks though. It's definitely expired, so that's going to go in the bin. Okay, and then we have this lip gloss. It's in Ruby Woo. It's the red. Yeah, no, this is still okay. So this is the 
the gloss effect for the Ruby Woo. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. And if you had watched my lip swatch video with the Ruby um, Ruby Crew, I hated this liquid, this matte liquid lipstick. It was so drying. So I'm just going to give that away because it's still good. But I just know I'm never going to use it. So I'm going to give that away. Um, then we have the Ruby Boo. This is the Powder Kiss. Yeah, that still smells fine. It's in the Powder Kiss formula, so it doesn't dry down. It's matte. It feels so nice on it. It's this one here. Definitely going to keep that. And then we have the Powder Kiss liquid colour in this. What colour is this? I don't think I liked this colour. It didn't suit me. Make it fashion. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, so I'm going to pass that one. Didn't like that one. Right, I'm definitely going to keep the blue, the bluey green colour and the black. It just looks like this. Right, and I'm definitely going to keep this colour. Um, high Drama. Love me the vampy dark purple colours. Right, and then we have this Powder Kiss in the colour Fashion. Oh, I can't see what that says. Really can't see what that says. Let's see what this colour is. Oh, yeah. Definitely going to keep that colour. Seen that. And then we have this one in Sorry Not Sorry. It's like an orangey brownie undertone colour, which doesn't suit me, so I'm going to pass that on. So these I'm going to keep. Okay, so I got this in one of them boxes. It changes colour to your pH or something in your skin, the warmth. It turns like a pinky kind of nude colour. It's something I'm not going to use, so I'm going to pass on. And um, if you watched my, I think it was my last haul video, you will have seen these from Benefit. They are actually lip balms, but they are so pigmented for lip balms. Look at that. So these, I think there's another one somewhere. Um, I think there were three or four of them in total. So these I'm definitely keeping. Okay, moving on to the bottom drawer. We have another e.l.f. Um, Sheer Sleek Lipstick. Uh, this time in a pinkish kind of colour. Let me just quickly swatch this and see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to pass this on. I know I'm not going to reach for it. I have these NYX Butter Glosses. And absolutely love these. So much so, I just bought um, a whole load more. Right, so yeah, I haven't received them yet. But these are all definitely staying keeping them right this is the Fenty Beauty lipstick this does to me exactly the same thing that the P Louise thing does it leaves a funny feeling on my lip every time I try to use it and it's such a shame because this color here is the exact same kind of like vampy color that I really love but anytime I put it on my lips it leaves a funny sensation on there so I'm definitely gonna pass that on okay we have two revlon lipsticks here that i'm seeing one in the shade 255 and one in the shade 46 i can't i just can't see myself reaching for these i just i just even though that this is my shade i just can't see myself reaching for them i'm gonna pass them on um the same thing for this this makeup revolution lipstick called in the one the shade the one it's still in its packaging it's still sealed i haven't even opened it All right so i'm just gonna pass that on this lime crime liquid lipstick All right it still smells good so i'm just gonna pass this on um it's in red velvet pass that on this nars lipstick oh i've just i think i just swatched this and what shade look at that it's only been swatched and this is the shade rouge insolvent is it i haven't got my glasses on so i can't see right but i just know i'm never going to reach for it so i'll try and pass that on the same thing with these this is um i think this is a burberry yeah burberry lipstick 
It's only been swatched. Look at the pattern on that. I don't know if you're seeing that pattern. But yeah. Try and pass it on. All right. And another NARS mini. Yeah, it still smells all right. And this is in the shade Star, Star Woman. I'm going to pass that on. We have the Bella Pierre lipstick. I think I dented it with the lid. Oh, that's a really nice brownie, creamy um, undertone. I think I might keep that one. I got this one at the same time when I got my teddy berry, right, with the, what is it called? The NYX Money Heist collection thing, right? And this is the Tokyo one in red. I thought I would have liked that, right? But I don't actually like this colour. I think I've used it a couple of times. I don't think it, the undertone suits me. I'm going to try and pass this on. But this is my absolute favourite coloured lipstick Anytime I see something similar in that shade, I always try to pick it up. This is the one I'm always going on about in my videos, the Teddy Berry by NYX from Money High with the Money Highs collab. Okay, so what is this? This is a Revolution lipstick as well. It's a matte lipstick. I think this must have expired. I've had it for so long. I'm not even going to try and save it. This one, I think it's the same thing. It don't smell funny, but I've had it for so long that I'm just not even going to bother to chance it. These ones are from Illamasqua and they are exactly the same colour. Yeah, they're exactly the same colour. And I think I've swatched them both. It's like a ready colour. Yeah, I've swatched them both. I don't know what's the matter with me. Right, but I'm going to try and pass them on. If you guys have any ideas of what I can do with all these lipsticks that I'm trying to pass on to nobody, um, because unless they're brand new, I know I can give them to shelters and stuff when they're brand new, but uh, and charity shots, but ones that have been swatched and stuff, it just seems like such a shame to waste it. But I don't. I know I'm not going to have anybody to give them to, so I don't even know what to do with them. So please drop your comments down below what you think I should do with the lipsticks. All right, so I have this e.l.f. one. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Look at that. I'm going to keep that. Um, this is a. This is sleek, isn't it? Yeah, it's semi matte lipstick. And this is in the shade Walk of Fame. Yeah, Walk of Fame. Yeah, it's sleek. Try and pass them on. Lord and Berry. Look at that red. I've had it for so long. That's definitely going in the bin. I've had this from Avon for so long. The years I must have had this, right? And it still smells sweet, like it's not gone off. But I know that this is definitely expired. So that's going in the bin. Makeup Forever. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember when I got this. It doesn't smell bad. I'm going to keep hold of that one. Um, This one. I don't even know the brand on this. I think it's Elamasca. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's another like nudie kind of colour. Oh no, it's got the pink undertone, the pinkish kind of undertone. So no. Pass on. We have these lip glosses from Revolution. I am definitely going to keep all three of these. This is another Revolution Pro. What colour is this? Insight. Insight. And it's brand new, so I can definitely give that away. This is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, so I'm going to keep that. This is the... Oh, I think I got this in one of them, in Glossy Box. I can't even pronounce the brand, but... Yeah, I know I'm not going to use it. And then this, I've from Remo London, I've had for so long. 
It still smells good, but I know it's not. I am going to throw that out. Right, so moving on to the last three drawers before we hit this mother load right here. Right, um, we've got some lip glosses in this one. Right, throw them all out. This is the Holla by P. Louise lip gloss. I swear by this lip gloss. I love it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep that. Right, this is another... I think this came in a packet of three or four. And I think they're in the other drawers. But, yeah, this is definitely one I'm definitely keeping. It's from Next. I got it in a collection. Love that. So, keeping that. And, again, I got this... This was one of the seven lip products in my Discovered Beauty box a couple months ago from Steve Laurent. Right, so I'm definitely keeping this colour. Love this one. It's the same thing with the Huda Beauty. This lip gloss, keeping that. Right, I have the three of these. I think it's one's Bam Bam, one's Barney. Is it Barney? And one's Betty, I think. I think this one's Betty from the Coco Pebbles collection from Revolution. I'm keeping all three of them as they pop up because these are my all time favorite lip glosses. These are highly pigmented, they last so long and the best part of it is they all smell like chocolate. Love this, I recommend. Look at the pigment on that. Yeah, so this is a definite keep. Um, this one from Estate, I don't think I've ever used it, but I think I unboxed it on my channel. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at look at the lip topper on that, look at that. No, yeah, I've got to keep this one. Love that. And then obviously the Fenty Gloss Bomb, keeping that. This is another Steve Laurent. I think I got it from the same um, Discover Beauty box. So this colour, I don't really reach for it, so I'm definitely going to pass that on. Right, and then these are the KVD. I think I got three or four of these that I unboxed on my channel. Um, they're all separated, so I don't know where they all are. I think they may be in here. Oh, yeah, here's two more of them. I found the other two, the four set. All different colours, but I don't think that I'm going to reach for this one, Rule Breaker, this red, although I've used it. Look at it. All right, so I'm definitely going to pass this on if I can. These three um, I'm going to keep. I'm not going to show all of them because we'll be here forever. But look at that, that brown colour. So, yeah, I'm going to keep these three. All right, moving on, I've seen two more of these um boohoo lipsticks oh no and the thing is these are new i just unboxed them on my channel not long ago but i'm trying to make space because i just know i'm not going to reach for them this one is a yes this one is a no um i have these revolution lipsticks which i absolutely love Right, don't mind the dust on them. I've just had them for a while. Um, this is in the shade Showstopper. So these are not going anywhere. I'm keeping them. And this one is in the shade Vampire. And then this one is in the shade Ruby. So yeah, these are staying. And this one is Rude Cosmetics. Yeah, I just got this. All right, so this is a definite keep. <clears throat> right, I got this from Revolution. And this is the Marilyn Monroe. This is that bright red colour. Look at the sparkles in that lipstick. Right, absolutely loved this colour. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. I'm definitely keeping this one. Right, so this one here, this Morphe lipstick is in Main Squeeze and it's a nudie brown. I think I got this in a lip kit with a lip liner and love that. So this is definitely staying. 
these are the elf um lipsticks seriously are they what's it called seriously satin lipsticks i did a lip switch lip switch lip swatch video on these so if you want to see what they look like on right um yeah just look for my playlist um marked not marked labeled lip swatch videos i think it's called right playlist and you will see these um what these look like on so i'm just looking at them there is one that i really liked this is not even from elf this is from the other collection from relove called express which it's a purplish kind of tone all right i'm going to keep this one um what is this one sugar plum no cider maybe what was this one cherry yeah i liked the cherry color this was my favorite color cherry so i'm going to keep this one and was it this one no i don't think it was this one yes was it this one yes and this one right yeah so i am going to keep hold of this is another one from this is another one from relove it's not even the elf so yeah this is called create and i absolutely love this color it reminds me of the teddy berry color so i'm keeping this one right and these three the cherry the coke um, the cocoa and the cider colors this is like a dark brown color absolutely love that so these three are staying these two i'm giving away right this one i'm gonna chuck out because i think if you had watched one of my videos when i did a review not well not a review but when i spoke about this i said it looked good when i pull it on my hand like this but on my lips it comes out patchy all right um not really good quality for this so i'm gonna just chuck that away right this is from revolution and this was in was it the batman i can't remember what collection this was in but i saw the color and i absolutely loved it and thought yeah i wanted to pick this up um it's in the color it doesn't actually say what color it is yeah it doesn't say what color it is unfortunately or maybe it does but i just can't read it because the writing is so small but that's a definite keep this is from be perfect look at the pattern on that and yeah i think it's it may have been swatched i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah this is still this is still okay i'm gonna pass this on then we have the a, another revolution lipstick look you can see i've loved using that i just love them nudie kind of colors right so i'm definitely keeping this one right and i got these from new look now new look i don't even think they do makeup anymore that's how old these ones are all right and i really shouldn't keep hold of them i really shouldn't all right but this one that color here i just can't find it anywhere else and it still smells okay so i'm going to take a chance and keep that one and this one okay i do like the color on this right but it is so old that I am going to do right and chuck that one away. This NYX suede lipstick in this dark brown colour. It When I put these on my lips, it this these ones with the hearts, I don't know. There's something about it that, whoops, there's something about it that just makes my lips feel funny. So i'm definitely gonna pass this on and i know my mum would probably really like this because it's in the chocolate brown so yeah she can probably have that one and then we have the laura geller i got this as an extra i think i got two of them as an extra in um the look incredible when the other one pops up i'll keep the other one this one here right or i'm gonna get rid of both of them because i know i'm not gonna use it that's not a color i reach for and then we have this e.l.f. liquid lipstick. Um, this is fairly new and I really do like this colour. Look, it's right here. I don't know if you're seeing it properly. Right here. 
all right so this is a definite keep all right okay i literally just unboxed this from my latest in beauty box so this is definitely staying right this is definitely staying this bare minerals lipstick love that shade yeah so this is staying i don't know if you've watched the video on or, or not yet so i'm not going to say anything about these products you'll have to watch my subscriber mail um video so i don't know if this video is going up before or after that one so if you've watched that one already you'll know exactly what these are and if you haven't watched that one already you'll see exactly what these are in the next video and these are both most definitely staying i have two of the maybelline superstay matte ink lipsticks and this one here was a gift to me all right so i am definitely keeping this i love that shade and this one i brought afterwards because i liked the um the consistency of it but it's completely different formulations and this one kind of bubbles up after a while but the brown one just stays on all day but even still i still do like this so i'm definitely keeping hold of that one um I have two more Morphe liquid lipsticks in like a purplish kind of reddish shade and the nudie kind of colour. The nudie kind of colour is called Boothing and then the other one, the reddish kind of colour is called Bloodshot. So these two are both staying. I have three of the Matt Me. I think I have another one, um, li uh, liquid lipsticks. I think the other one that I have, I got it in a box and all right, here it is right here it's the metallic one i swatched this in a video and i just love these formulations and i do ombre lips with this and stuff so yeah i'm definitely going to keep all four of these again i have another new look liquid lipstick it's so old but it still smells good look at that brown all right i'm gonna keep it i have to and then we have this Morphe liquid lip. Oh, it's in um, it's in another chocolate brown color. Is it like in it? If you can see that, keeping that right. And then we have this Lord and Berry timeless lipstick. I recently picked this up. Look at that shade there. This one. It came in a box. I think I got this from Agora. So yeah, this was the best thing in the box, I believe. So yeah, that's definitely staying. And I have a set of three Stila liquid lipsticks. This is the least favourite colour out of all of them. But still, look at that. This lasts all day. So all of these Stila liquid lipsticks are staying once I bump into them. I'm not doing too well, guys, because I still have this big draw to do. And I've got all of these that I am keeping so far, right? And these are the ones so far, just to give an update on the ones that I want to give away. There's quite a few in there. And these are the ones that so far are expired. So, yep. Yeah. And I have this drawer full still to go. So wish me luck. All right, first of all, I'm gonna grab these out. Right, I picked these up from Revolution Pro. They're both exactly the same, which I didn't know at the time. But the only thing is one is matte, one isn't. So the colors are exactly the same. Right, I think I prefer the matte ones to the non-matte ones. But I think in all of these, I think I've only opened one. Yeah, so these are the non-matte ones. I think this is the one that I opened up and swatched. Look at that colour. So rich. Right. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to give that away. I'm going to give the whole thing away. These are the non-matte. Yeah, these are the non-matte colours. Look at the colours. I don't know if you can see them properly. But they've all got their stickers still on them. So, I'm going to put that into the giveaway and these ones are matte right yeah these are matte and they're exactly the same colors um 
So I'm going to keep these ones. I'm going to keep these ones and give away the non matte ones. Right, these are little lip glosses. These are so cute. And I picked these up from Pretty Thick Lashes. Right, these are just the cutest things ever. Look at them. So nice. It's just a plain, clear lip gloss. So yeah, these are still brand new. And they're just like lip glosses. So I'm going to keep them. They're cute. I got this in my Pretty Obsessed box. I believe it was my Pretty Obsessed box. And I liked the... Um, I liked the liquid lip, but I didn't like the pencil. The pencil just was not my colour. So I'm going to pass this on and keep this. Moving on, I've got some of these P. Louise Stay Shining Lip Oils, which I'm definitely going to keep. Right, I have given one to my mum already I believe one or two of them and um I finished I think two of them and I've got these two left so I'm going to keep these all right and these are the lip drip lip glosses so I love P Louise lip glosses especially um the brown nudie colors look at that I don't know if that's even showing up is it showing up whether or not these are definite keeps right and i've just stumbled across this as well from revolution it's a whole set of totally reds i think most of these are brand new never been swatched yeah look it's never been swatched brand new yeah i have to check them all but yeah i don't think i've swatched any of them have i I think I might have brought this for a lip swatch video. I'm not 100% sure. I think I may have done like totally reds. I think I may have brought them for a lip swatch video, which I just never got around to doing. So I don't know. Maybe I should keep the box and just give them away if I can in the box. Right. Um, this is the replacement MAC lip glass that I managed to pick up. My I had one of these before and my daughter stole it. And I managed to get my hands on another one. And I still haven't used it. So that is definitely staying. All right. And I got these red and brown sets. They're like Huda Beauty dupes. Right. From Primark. You would have seen me unbox this in my Primark haul on my channel. So I haven't even used these yet. So they are definitely staying. This is brand new. I think I showed you. I had. I bought two of these. I bought the brown one. The brown colour from e.l.f. as well. And I kept that one. And this is the purple. So I'm definitely keeping that one as well. The missing two from the collection. From the Coco Pebbles collection. The um, nude with the brown undertone. And then the brown lip gloss. These are my all-time favourite lip glosses. So yeah, they are definitely staying. I think I even have to buy backups. Because I think this one is almost finished. Okay, you would have seen me unbox this in my um, my last Look Incredible box. This is the Too Faced Melted Latex. It was okay, but I didn't like it. It felt funny. The formula felt funny. Um, I didn't know whether or not it has latex in it. I still haven't looked that up. I guess that's irrelevant, really. I just I don't like it. I don't like the formula. The colour was nice, but it, it was just a funny formula. So I'm going to pass this on. Right, I got this from Agora, right, and I literally got managed to get this Fenty Beauty lipstick for I think it was six ninety nine, something ridiculous like that. Look at that color. Look at it. It's this one here. Lovely jubby. Definitely keeping that. This is to die for. This is the Beauty Bay lip gloss. All right, um, I did have the burgundy one as well, but I gave that to my mum. Here's the brownie nudie colour. I'm definitely keeping that. I want to see if I can pick up a couple more, she says, with a whole box filled. This is from the e.l.f. set. This was the missing one. I think I used it, so I must have liked it. So I'm going to keep hold of that one. And this is a Revolution one. I've had it for so long that the Revolution sign has even worn off of it. So 
yeah i'm gonna discard that one here is another steve laurent one um i have so many i'm gonna just give that away i'm passing it on this came in one of my gift boxes that i brought um one of the mac sets can't remember which one but this is so my colour. I've worn this a good couple times since having it. It's this one here. So I'm keeping this. Um, I got this lately and didn't I've never heard of the brand soda before, but literally this colour is everything. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping this because this is kind of new. And I got this, I believe, from was it latest in beauty? I want to say it was latest in beauty, but it's the double-ended side thing. So you've got a lipstick on one side, which was such a really nice colour. Seriously, my colour. Right, and then you have the pencil on this side. Let's wind it up. See? So, yeah, definitely keeping hold of this. I can get rid of the box. And then this is the Crushed Oil Infused Gloss from Bobbi Brown. I can't even remember where I got this from, but it was in one of the boxes. Uh -huh. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Or I may pass this on. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm going to keep it in the box for the time being. And then I got this one from Latest Than Beauty. Um, hoping that this would be a better fit for me. Rather than um, the lipstick that I got rid of. It's in that same kind of hot pink colour. So I still haven't tried it yet. So I still have hope. And I also got this from, I think, Latest in... Not Latest in Beauty. Let's face it. Have I been saying Latest in Beauty throughout the whole thing? It's Let's Face It. <laughs> right, so yeah. This is... um, I got this from Let's Face It. It's just a lip gloss. So And it smells really nice. I'm going to keep that. Next little bundle. We are definitely getting somewhere now, guys. I can see it's just... We're getting somewhere. <laughs> right, this XXX Revolution liquid lipstick. I think the formulation on this was not good. It came off patchy. So, yeah, even though it's still in date, I'm going to get rid of that. because. And the same thing for this. Should I? No, I think this one was okay by the looks of it. I think it was the pink one that was patchy. I am not 100% sure. So, I may just pass these on i might just pass them on we have two more elf um lip glosses and these are brand new not been used this is a clear one i'm gonna pass this on because i just know i'm not gonna use it all right and then we have this one yeah i'm gonna pass it on i have too many of the same all right Next, we have this Lorac or Loroc lip gloss in Alter Ego. I've had this for a while. I've had this for a while. I don't never use it because it was too plain, um, too pale, not plain. So I'm going to chuck that out because I've had it for a while. Um, I have this I Heart Revolution chocolate lip gloss. Uh, it's in a see-through colour, but... I'm going to pass this on. It doesn't seem to be expired. So I'm going to see if I can pass it on. I think this is what I got in one of them eBay boxes. And I still haven't sanitized it yet. So. Yeah. I still didn't sanitize it. I'm just going to dump that. Chuck it out. Then we have the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick. Which I got from another one of my eBay mystery boxes. Um, I think this was in that two more mystery box video that i put up because the first one was so good i went back and purchased two more and hello this was in it so that's staying okay we have the revolution bubblegum pink i think i got this in one of the ebay mystery boxes as well um this was okay it was sealed and it still smelled okay so i can't i just can't bring myself to pass this on all right i can't pass it on all right, that's out of order. I got it from eBay. The box was rubbish. So I'm chucking that away. All right, I don't need it. Then we have this Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. 
diamond crushers what is this is it a lip topper i think it's a lip topper there it is it's this one like it is a lip topper it is like really bright right i'm gonna pass that on there's no way i'm gonna be able to use that this is an orange bloody red all right i can't um yeah this is old anyway it smells funny so we have another one that are xx look at that look at that brown chocolate color oh that looks nice i'm gonna pass that on then we have the nyx lingerie it's a lip gloss this is still good i'll just pull it over another lip gloss look at that color that is nice i'm gonna keep that and then we have another huda beauty liquid matte lipstick oh that's really pale there it is it's this one here but i've had it for a while so i think i might just chuck that out and then we have this revolution Imp empress lip topper i've had this for a while but use it as a lip topper i'm going to keep that because sometimes i like to mix and match i'm going to keep that this nyx lingerie it looks all right but it's it kind of smells all right i don't i don't remember when i got this no i'm going to chuck it out just to be on the safe side because i don't remember when i got it and there's another one here as well yeah because it's got some kind of um liquid thing on it first and foremost when i pull it when i take it out like an oily like it's separated yeah i think that's a goner as well and then we have this mellow matte liquid paint let's put this here look at that love that i'm gonna keep that and then we have this beauty bakery liquid lipstick i've had this for a while look at that color is this one here oh my gosh oh no it's gone off i've had it for a while but it's definitely expired right here are the other two stina liquid lipsticks that i was talking about earlier so these are definitely staying i don't see myself ever reaching for these sleeping this three pack of sleeping beauty lip glosses i picked this up when i got the um palette when i got the, the the book palette sleeping beauty from revolution and i didn't even use these in a video i've never used them so i'm gonna pass them on this is a lip oil that i know i got from let's face it and i love lip oils i use this more than anything else so i'm definitely gonna keep that this hasn't even been opened yet um and then we have these ones as well from snow white beauty and the beast and this is just a lip gloss yeah this one's still sealed i'll keep hold of that i'll keep hold of this one and this one i can pass on these two i think have i even opened this one yeah i've opened this one it's still got some of the wrapper left on it i've opened this one it's another lip gloss oh that's stunning look at that yeah i'm gonna keep these two this one hasn't even been opened yet no i'm gonna try and pass this one on this one's still sealed All right and then this is the aladdin lip topper i may keep this one but i'm gonna keep that one because i remember it had a beautiful shimmer and the Little Mermaid one had like um, iridescent shimmer. So I'm keeping that one as well. Okay, I got this from Pretty Thick Lashes. This was gifted to me. So I'm definitely going to keep this one because it was a gift. And you can't go wrong with a gold lip gloss. Look at that. Look at the shine on that. Oh, and it smells so nice. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. Oh, I'm not even going to put that one back in because I think I'm going to use that um we have one of these volume addicts i think this is a liquid lipstick and i've never used it but look at the color that is stunning oh i so want to use this in one of my looks that's staying then we have the charlotte tilbury pillow talk i think i got this in one of the um i think i got this in an asos box 
a while back um it's got a pinky kind of undertone and i just know i'm keeping it because it's charlotte tilbury and um yeah i'm gonna pass that on i'm never gonna use it the same thing with these these are brand new still in the box i may put this into the giveaway um box into a giveaway box i'm not sure yet but yeah these i'm gonna pass on and these ones are from the discovered beauty box i think we got seven in total and i think i have put one already in the giveaway and kept the rest right so yeah i think these oh, it's just the weirdest thing ever because you know when you just want to this video is so difficult for me because I am such a hoarder, especially when it comes around makeup. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put these in the giveaway pile. I just don't have room for it. And then we have the Gerard Cosmetics. I think this was in my um, Pretty Obsessed box, the £75 one. And this had that cool light up feature. It had lights. Look at that. This is ridiculous ridiculous that's a ridiculous color it's not gonna suit my skin tone so and look it actually looks like it's starting to separate can you see that look at that i don't know that's a bit sus i think i might just chuck that out i bought two of the super stay vinyl ink the new ones out from maybelline love these they're staying and i have this i got this i think just like a couple months ago this little ofra liquid lipstick set the miniature ones i think they're so cute so these are definitely staying and then we've got this tart lip sculptor i think i just got this in the look incredible box let's see what is this Oh yeah, we've got this side. Okay, yeah. It was a double-ended thing. And the lipstick. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. And these are all the lipsticks I recently picked up from Primark. Um, as you can see, a few of them still have their wrappers on. Where I haven't used them yet. So these are definitely staying. This is Colourfast Sally Hansen. I'm not sure where I got this. I wonder if this was in one of them boxes. One of them eBay boxes. I'm not 100% sure. So, I'm just going to keep hold of that for a second. I'm not sure where I got that from. I can't remember. Um, this one here, this is a Barry, Barry M liquid lipstick. But I think this is more like a lip topper for what it is no it is it's just a liquid lipstick i've had this for such a long time i'm gonna chuck that this is another revolution lip balm like lip gloss i'm sure i just put one of them in here didn't i is this it yeah i have two of the same so how have i got two of the same and this one is sealed this one they're both sealed oh oh yeah they're both sealed i don't know when i got I don't know when I got each one. Um, I'm going to put one in the giveaway and keep one. All right, guys, the drawer is empty. We're down to the last few. Here's another one of them next lip glosses that I was talking about. This is definitely staying. Um, this is a Dose of Colours liquid lipstick, a matte liquid liquid. Uh, I don't even know what I was just saying there. A Dose of Colours matte liquid lipstick in that color there so this is staying we have a nars pinky kind of lipstick i have this this is definitely expired because i've had this for so long all right i have another one of these rimmel lipsticks i'm sure it's even the same color it smells okay but again i'm not chancing it I've had it for so long. Then I have another one of these Volume Addict lipsticks, but this time in red. Oh, that just seems so nice. Look at that colour. Yeah, I'm keeping that. 
And then we have a Revolution lipstick in this kind of purpley colour. Look at that. So right there, I'll do it, I'll do it again. Mm. I can pass that on. This is... I don't... I can't remember where I got this from. I think I got this in the mystery box from BH... It's not BH. Um, mm. Be Perfect. I'm not 100% sure where I got this from. I can't remember. I don't know, but it's got a funny smell. Yeah, it's got a funny smell. It's not completely bad, but I think it's turning. So I think I just drop that in there, get rid of it. If you hear snoring <laughs> again, that's my puppy. All right, my mum gave me this. Um, it's a black lipstick and I welcomed it at the time. But I did know that this was that NYX formula that just didn't sit right with me All right so i think i'm gonna um give it back to her <laughs> pass it back to her see if she wants it back and then last but not least we have this wet and wild lipstick which looks like this perfect i'm gonna keep hold of this that is the end of all the lip products that i've managed to find i know i probably have one or two somewhere lurking around in the house but yeah these are the ones that i could find up front so just to show you this is all going in the bin all of these are expired okay. these ones are all to give away there is so many in here look at that I have absolutely no idea what to do with all of these. None. Because like I said, majority of people that are around me, they would prefer like clear lip glosses or very subtle lip glosses. Nothing too in your face. So I have no idea what to do with any of these. So yeah, please drop your comments down below what you think I should do with them. And then these are all the lip products i think i failed miserably when it came around me decluttering i mean i couldn't get rid of anything else all of these are needed <laughs> what can i say all of these are really and truly needed so yeah i couldn't get rid of anything else all of these are staying which i think i did pretty well i mean look at all of these products i did pretty well to get rid of all of that right and these are all expired or ones i'm not sure about so these are all definitely going in the bin and these ones i'm all keeping right guys i thought i would quickly jump back on just to round up this video um it was a long one i know and i really do apologize for that hopefully in the future they won't be as long um yeah, so as you can see, I did keep a lot of the products and there are quite a few products that I've got to give away and not many that were expired. So that's always a good thing. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. And like I said throughout the video, please feel free to drop your comments down below with suggestions as to what I should do with the products that I don't know who to give them to or what to do with them. The new ones I can put into giveaways and I can also donate. But the used products, the ones that I've swatched that are basically brand new, but they have been opened. I'm not 100% sure what to do with them. Uh, yeah, so I think that's all. Right, guys, if I could ask you to please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already done so. And then click on the little notification bell beside it and then click all so you never miss another upload from me. And while you're down there, if I could ask you to please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help me and my channel out and I really do appreciate it. Right, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a beautifully blessed day and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.